thousand shooters on my bezel. What is going on guys? So today is going to be a fairly short vlog and the reason is, is I have 34 packages I need to package and ship out so we're going to try to do that by the end of today. But today is going to be like a little customization. If you guys saw about four vlogs ago I went to Plato's Closet and I saw those jean overalls that they were kind of short but I ended up buying them anyways just because that's the style. Well I'm actually going to do a little customization. I'm going to put a little Tommy patch as well as some Gucci straps. My mom is going to help me sew because I was going to do like a DIY video but I showed my mom and she says you do need a sewing machine. She's just going to help out with that. So let's get it guys. So if you guys didn't see these are what the overalls look like with all the distressing. So I'm probably going to put the patch right there and then maybe these Gucci straps along this. I'm gonna try to see what we can do. I'll definitely do the patch, and then if we could do the straps, then I'll do the straps. If not, then I'll just leave it like that. But I think it's gonna look nice in the middle. This is what it would look like with the Gucci straps and then without. I kinda like it with it, but again, we'll have to see if the sewing machine will do it. Pulling out the 1980s sewing machine. Let's hope it does the job. Alright guys, so we finally finished the overalls. I think my mom did a pretty decent job. We didn't put the Gucci straps on and the reason is is because of these metal casings. I think what I have to do is probably get fabric glue and probably glue it on. Or I might just not do it at all. I'm going to see. Obviously I don't want to ruin these, but I do want to make them custom on my own. But if you guys see, you have the Tommy patch down below. We did do navy just so that way it'll be color contrasted. We were going to change up the colors, but that would just be way too much. So the navy doesn't look too bad as you guys can see. And then obviously I'm not wearing the right shoes, so we're not going to go all the way down, but these are the overalls with the distressing Tommy patch. You guys can get a view of them. Now I'm just going to quickly run back home because yesterday I actually forgot to show you guys an entire bag of stuff that I thrifted. It's still in my car. I had no idea that I had it. So let's go show you guys what I have. So like I said, the last trip to the thrift I went to, I actually forgot a bag inside my car. So I didn't even get to show you guys this. So all this will be for sale or most of it might be for sale. I'm going to keep a couple things for personal. Sorry guys, you already know me. I have an addiction. But what is for sale will be linked down below. Make sure you guys go check it out. So started off, we have a size large, sorry, size XL, but seems like it could fit a large. Vintage Calvin Klein jeans with the CKJ patch. And then on the back, we have Calvin Klein jeans. Black with the gray collar. Vintage tags. I might keep this for personal, but you guys just check down below and you will see. With this piece, I'm going to try it on. If it's not too big, I'm going to 100% keep this. I've always wanted a green jersey. If you guys saw when I went to Richie's sneaker store, he did a custom painting of a green jersey and I loved it. I was like, it's so rare, like it's unique. But we have this Majestic size XL forest green Yankees. Majestic right there, Majestic right there. Again, I'm going to try it on. If it fits too big on me, then it will be for sale. If not, I'm keeping it. Another Kuji isk or Kuji style sweater. This is a size large with the black, gray, and white. I don't know if you guys saw, but we also have two other Kuji like sweaters. Unfortunately, we haven't found the legit Kuji sweater, just the bootlegs. But to be honest, they're very nice and really good quality. So, size large. Size large, we have this. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. This good fella shirt. Nothing on the back. If they would have had something on the back. That'd be so fire. It says size XL, but again, fits like a large. Size 2XL. We have Yankees. Sabathia. I think that's how you pronounce it. Don't roast me, sorry. And we have another 2XL. Yankees. So if you're a Yankees player size 2XL, I could do a package deal. If not, they would just be one by one. But we have Posada. And then we have size youth large. Does it say youth large? Yeah, youth large. So maybe a men's medium, but I'd say about, I guess, small medium. New York Yankees in the gray. Again, another majestic shirt. 
So that was the bag that I forgot to go through. Again, make sure you check the link down below for the prices, sizing, and all of that. If you guys enjoyed today's vlog, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. Give a thumbs up button just for my mom's stitch job. I think these turned out really nice. I'm gonna wash them today. And I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do about the Gucci straps. I might get, like I said, industrial glue that I will tape or that I will glue on. If not, then I'll just leave them as it is. I think they're pretty sick. So you guys will see me rocking these in the next video. See you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. 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 Hey guys, my name is EMC. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about vintage. Eight thousand shooters on my bezel. Took a team and made a dream and grew a level. Saw right through the screen and killed the devils. And I don't know if it's.